God bless you all. God bless you all. So let's start our prayers tonight. You're welcome. You're welcome. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for your love over our lives. We bless your name. We give you praise. I thank you for your power. I thank you for your strength. I thank you for your enablement. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for what you will do. I lift your name on high and I say that is none to be compared to your name. Father, we bless you. King of glory, we exalt you. Ancient of days, we adore you. Father, we give you all the glory and all the honor. How excellent and how marvelous is your name. There is none to be compared to you, Lord. Father, we worship you because you are a glorious God. You are the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for you? Daddy, we bless your name, O oh Lord. King of glory, we exalt you. Ancient of days, we adore you. I am that I am. We say there is none to be compared to your glorious name. Glory be unto you, Lord. Hallowed be thy name. Jehovah, we worship your name. We thank you. We bless you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, I want you to open your mouth and begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over everyone that is connected, wherever they are connected from. I ask the Lord Almighty that your blood will begin to prevail. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone connected to me, every family, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I decree in the name of Jesus, the name that is above all names, that Lord God Almighty, your blood will begin to prevail over each and every one of us in the mighty name of Jesus. King of kings, we release the blood of Jesus over every family, over every one, every child, over every home. We ask that the blood of Jesus begin to mighty prevail in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Father, we exalt you. Jehovah Lord, we give you praise. We exalt your name because there is none like you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's sing this song loud and clear. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. Yes, Lord, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. Amen. And so, Father, we ask, Lord, that the power of God in the blood of Jesus, let it begin to prevail over everyone connected to me, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to move from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to prevail for you. Wherever you are, I ask Lord that the blood of Jesus begin to move on your behalf. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord, I cover your home, your family, your marriage, your apartment, your vicinity with the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus begin to prevail. Let the blood of Jesus begin to move on your behalf. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I speak into the life of your children now. And I decree, Lord Almighty, that everyone that is connected to me today, I decree, let your power, let your miracle power, let your anointing power locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let that power that is locating them bring testimonies into their lives in Jesus' name. Let it begin to bring almighty signs and wonders into their lives in the name of Jesus. I ask, O oh Lord, that everyone connected to me with one diverse problem or the other, Father, let your power begin to fight on their behalf in Jesus' name. 
let the blood of Jesus begin to destroy every stubborn yoke in the name of Jesus. Let the power of God begin to dismantle the yokes upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak in the name that is above all names. Let the glory of the Lord, let the power of God, let the anointing of God begin to overshadow you in the mighty name of Jesus. And right there where you are, I ask, O Lord, that the fire of deliverance will begin to melt away every stubborn yoke in your life. The fire of deliverance will begin to consume every yoke of darkness in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Right there, I decree that the hand of Jehovah begin to fight for you. Let the power of God begin to manifest in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak you again in the blood of Jesus. I cover even your prayers today with the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the hands of Jehovah begin to fight on your behalf in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, Lord. I now begin to speak to as many that are connected to me that are having one sickness or the other one infirmity or the other one affliction or the other i ask O oh lord in the name that is above all names jesus christ receive your deliverance in the name of jesus receive divine healing receive your deliverance receive divine healing in the name of jesus receive your deliverance receive your healing in the name of jesus as the word of god came from the man of god elijah on to naaman and says naaman go and almighty bath yourself and the bible tells us that naaman's body was whole his skin was whole he was cleansed of his leprosy i decree into your life in the name of jesus receive cleansing be purged receive cleansing receive your deliverance receive your healing let the healing power of jehovah locate you now locate you now in the name of jesus in the realm of the spirit distance is not a barrier and to our god the god of heaven distance is not a barrier as you are connected to me and saying a loud amen where you are let the power of god begin to release healing into your body healing into your spirit in the name of jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet let your healing power begin to locate you let the healing power of god begin to touch you let the healing power of jehovah begin to touch you let the miracle power of god begin to locate you now in the name of Jesus. My sister, listen to me. The power of Jehovah is touching you right there. The affliction that has come unto you, it shall not rise again. And so let those affliction be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the power of God begin to manifest in your life. Let the anointing of Jehovah begin to baptize you. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord, we thank you. Father, I exalt your name. I pray for as many that are connected to me that Jehovah you will open the windows of heaven unto them oh Lord you will open the windows of heaven unto them let their heavens be opened let their heavens be opened let their heavens be opened and let them receive healing receive healing receive healing divine healing in the name of Jesus everything called glaucoma everything that is not of God whatever spirit that the enemy has baptized you with i decree let the power of god deliver you now let the hand of god deliver you now in the name of jesus christ the hurt is the lord and the fullness thereof wherever you are in the whole wild world receive your healing you receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing i pray for your child let your child receive healing yes let your child receive healing healing in the blood let your child receive healing in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus are the name that is above all names let the power of God touch you now let the miracle hand of God locate you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus as many almighty that are asking the Lord Almighty for divine grace let the grace of the Lord begin to be baptize you begin to be upon you now in the mighty name of Jesus I ask 
Lord, that the miracle power of Jehovah let it begin to touch every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Let your bones be healed. Let the blood in your body be healed. Let your veins be healed. Let your skin be healed. Let your eyes be healed. Let your intestine be healed. Let every organ in your body receive healing. Let your organs receive healing. Let the organs in your body receive healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as you are carrying the power of God, as you are carrying the healing power of God, I decree that everyone in your house, every member of your household, I say they are receiving the same anointing. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God enter into your household. Let your household receive healing. Let your children receive healing. Let your daughters and your sons receive healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, by his stripes that we are healed. I decree and I declare that the healing power in the name of Jesus let it enter your domain let it enter your arena let it enter your domain let it enter your arena let it baptize your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father I decree that everyone that is connected to me and is asking Lord when are you going to deliver me receive your deliverance from all the witchcraft covenant receive your deliverance from the covens of witches and wizards receive your deliverance let the hand of God deliver you now let the hand of God deliver you now let the hand of God deliver you now let the power of Jehovah drag you out of the covens of darkness of the covens of witches I release the mighty hand of God to begin to touch every Every area of your life in the name of Jesus I cover you again with the blood of Jesus your territory with the blood of Jesus I say let the fire of deliverance surround you where you are now in the name of Jesus Christ oh yes Lord Father I decree and I declare that you are the God of all flesh manifest your power in the life of your children manifest your power in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father, I thank you for your love. And I say glory be unto you. Because your children, they are receiving testimony. Yes, that sister is getting a testimony. Yes, your, you that brother, you are getting your testimony. Today is the day of deliverance. Today is also the day of salvation. Jesus is already with you. And he will surely touch your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to welcome you all to the prayer line and I know that the Lord God Almighty will continue to touch your lives in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. For those of you on the prayer line that have dialed in, I can see lots of you have dialed in. You are welcome and I pray the Lord will touch you all in Jesus name. For those of us that are on the screen that are watching me, God bless you. For those of you on Instagram, you are welcome. All of you on Facebook live, God bless you. And those of you that are on Periscope, you are also welcome. The hand of the Lord will touch you wherever you are in Jesus' name. Yes, you are welcome. God bless you all. Now, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and share the video. Let's go ahead and share the video. I wanted to go ahead and share the video right now. For those of you that are watching me, go ahead. Let's share this video. I want you to share this video. I want it to be a blessing. I've been hearing your testimonies. I've been hearing all your prayer requests. And let me tell you the honest truth. Jesus is already doing works in your life. Jesus is already doing great things for you. And I pray that it will perfect it in your life, in the life of your children, in the life of your wives and your husbands, in the name of Jesus. Yes, let's go ahead and share this video. Yes, as you're sharing the video, I can see. Thank you, Jesus, for those of you that are sharing it. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Excellent. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and share the video. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. I can see lots of you sharing it now. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, the Ancient of Days. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, as you are sharing it, I know that the Lord God Almighty will be touching every area of your lives. Ah, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and share. For those of you that are just joining, you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Those of you on Instagram, Periscope, and also on uh, Facebook Live, just go ahead. Go ahead. Let's share it. Yes. Wonderful. I can see lots of you sharing it now. I can see some of you sharing it. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead and share it. Go ahead. You have my permission to share it. You have my permission to share it. Go ahead. Let's share the video. And as you're sharing the video, yes, those of you are inviting your followers. I can see that on periscope 
God bless you. God bless you for joining the prayer line. The Lord God Almighty is the master. Is the master of the masters. Is the doctor of doctors. Is the Jehovah Jireh, the unchangeable Lord, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He is the one that can do all things. Yes, yes, you are welcome. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, very briefly, let's talk. To, let's let's go into our message for today. And as you are coming on board, I cover you, else with the blood of Jesus. For those that are joining, I ask that the hand of Jehovah be upon you. The power of God begin to manifest in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen, we're going to continue from where we stopped on Monday. And I talked about destroying evil loads. Destroying evil loads. Listen to me and listen to me very well. The evil loads that we're talking about here, they are not physical in nature. They are not the loads that you will see somebody carrying a load. When we're talking about an evil load, we're saying that you are carrying that which does not belong to you. You are carrying that which is not yours. You are carrying that which you are not as, as uh, you are not allowed to carry you are not as a christian you are not meant to carry an evil load destroying evil loads and i decree that all the evil loads in your life shall be destroyed in the name of jesus and those loads the almighty god shall destroy them out of you in the mighty name of jesus christ praise the name of the lord thank you jesus thank you king of glory thank you ancient of days now listen to me carefully there is nothing that is coming that God himself cannot do. There's nothing that God cannot do. God can do lots of things. And as he's doing it, I pray that in your life, he will perfect it in the name of Jesus. Now, listen to me carefully. An evil load, an evil load, an evil load is, tell, is, 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 a, is a strange load. An evil load is a load that is not yours. Is a burden that is not yours. An evil load is that which the enemy has put on you. An evil load is that which you have acquired not by your just your power alone, but the enemy has actually placed on you. An evil load could actually, it could actually be acquired by yourself, but the question here is that the intention is to hinder you. The intention is to delay you. The intention is to bring, continue to walk in a way to weigh you down, to bring you to a place of stand still an evil lord's plan is to bring you what i call unhappiness to bring you sadness to bring sorrow to you to bring put a stumbling block to your life an evil load the intention of an evil load is to make you to be set back up is to hinder you from getting to your destination is to delay you i pray that if there's an evil load in your life the power of god shall destroy them and I decree again that the hand of Jehovah shall begin to manifest and deliver you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, listen again to me, my brother and my sister. The evil load of darkness is what the Bible is telling us. That that is the reason why Jesus Christ came. That is the only reason why Jesus Christ came. To lift away all our heavy burden. To break our yokes. That is why we call him the burden bearer. Jesus Christ, the burden bearer. Listen to me very well. The Lord God Almighty is about to break your yokes. And as it's breaking your yokes, I decree that it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. Evil load, all the evil loads, whether it's demonic, whether it's satanic, whether it's an occultic yoke, whether it is a load of darkness, whether it is a load that you acquired yourself, whether it is a load that you are forced to acquire, whether it's a load that the enemy placed on you, whether it's a load that you inherited. All we're talking about here is that evil load must die. Evil load must what? Die. You must destroy it because it's going to hinder you. It's going to set you back. It's going to allow you to move to not to go to the walk forward, to, to move forward. I pray that the Lord will touch your life in Jesus' name. For those of you that are joining for the first time, you are welcome. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. For those of you on Periscope, you are welcome on the very wonderful day. Now, listen to me. Evil load is not something you should, uh, you should continue to allow. If you don't destroy them, it has a plan to destroy its owner. An evil load is a, is an heavy burden that a, a Christian is carrying on their head. A Christian is carrying it and he, either he does not know, whether it's conscious or unconscious, 
listen to me carefully an evil load must be destroyed an evil load must be what destroyed i tell you again that the hand of jehovah the name of the lord will fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. and i speak to somebody that let the evil load upon your or your head the evil load that they are carrying right now i command you to catch fire i command you to catch fire i command you to catch fire to catch fire to catch fire to catch fire, fire let the load of darkness upon your life let it be set ablaze 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 in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen Praise the name of the Lord. Now listen to me carefully, everybody. The Bible says something. And let me say what the Bible says. The Bible says something in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, verse 27. Listen to what it says. And it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The yoke shall be destroyed because of what? The anointing. I want to tell you that everyone that has a yoke, that the Bible has said it has to be destroyed because of the anointing. I pray that the anointing of God tonight, the anointing of God right now, I command that anointing to break your yokes in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of God break your yokes in the name of Jesus. Let the anointing of God let it begin to break your yokes. Let it begin to break your yokes. Let it begin to break every stubborn yoke in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that brother. I decree that the owners of evil load, I command them to carry their load in the name of Jesus. To carry their load. The owners of evil load, I command carry your load in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load, I decree and I declare, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load, carry your load. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we we'll pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to me. A long time ago, a sister said, Pastor, do you know what? I have been going through a tough time in my life. Let me tell you what the tough time is. She has never ever ever seen a menstrual pain a menstrual period and by the time she came for what i call a powerful prayer program and a deliverance right in that program the hand of god touched her the owners of the load of darkness carried their load the woman all of a sudden began a menstruation in the program our god is a great god a lady that is more than 30 years old and has never seen a period listen to me carefully she was carrying an evil load which was destroyed by the power of prayer she was carrying an evil load which was destroyed by the power of prayer and that's what the bible says in that isaiah 10 27 it says and it shall come to pass in that day it shall come to pass in that day in your own matter it is today because today the anointing shall break your yokes in the name of Jesus. Listen, it says that his burden shall be what? Taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. Because of the anointing. I pray into somebody's life. I speak into your life by the anointing in the name of Jesus. The name that is above all names. Let you those evil yokes be broken let your yokes be broken let your yokes be destroyed let your yokes be broken in the name of jesus i decree into your life let your yokes be broken 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 i command your yokes to be broken by fire in the name of jesus christ every power that is saying no to what God has said yes to your life. I command them to be destroyed by thunder, by fire, in the name of Jesus. Every one of you connected to me, wherever you are connected from, and you have carrying an evil yoke or an evil load on your head, I command you to catch fire, 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 to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me carefully. Our God is a God that answers by fire. 
is a God that can do all things. He's a God of all flesh. He says, is there anything too hard for me? Listen, there is nothing too hard for the God whom you serve. And so therefore, every yoke in your life, I command it to be broken. As I'm speaking into your life, I decree, let those yokes be broken right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to what the Bible says again. I have something that says in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28 to 30. Matthew 11, 28 to 30. The Bible says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rests. Take my yoke upon you. Take what? My yoke upon you. And lean on me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rests unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my body is light jesus christ was speaking come unto me matthew 11 28 to 30 that's what i read listen to me carefully there is a yoke that is not light there is a burden that is not light there is an evil load of darkness that the enemy has placed upon a child of god like i said again the load of darkness number one it could be inherited you could have inherited an evil load of darkness that is it actually accompanied you from your mother's womb even up till right now number two you could have acquired an evil load by a decision you made yourself by you putting yourself into a decision number three you could have acquired an evil load by force that is they looked at you and said well you 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 oh in this family this three of you we're going to put a yoke on you and you are going nowhere we're going to put a burden on you you're going to go nowhere so they placed it on you by force i pray that every forced load every forced load on your life i set it ablaze i set it ablaze in the mighty name of jesus i set it ablaze by the authority in the name of jesus let those loads be set ablaze be set ablaze be set ablaze be set ablaze in your life in the name of jesus i command those loads whether you were forced whether you acquired it i decree let the evil load be set ablaze in the mighty name of jesus let the evil load be set ablaze be set ablaze be set ablaze in the mighty name of jesus christ amen now an evil load also like i said well if you are forced to it wonderful it could also be that you walked into it accidentally you walked into it what accidentally you could have acquired an evil load whether you went to somewhere's house and you slept there and some that was the day of their incantation or that was the day of their divination or that was the day that the powers of darkness were coming to visit the owners of that house but you were there so you also carry that load and all i'm talking about is in the spiritual not a physical load i pray again that the hand of god will give you understanding in jesus name it could be accidental by one thing that you ate either mysteriously by whatever you ate mysteriously it's an evil load I pray that the hand of the Lord will fight your battles in Jesus' name. I say the hand of God will do what? Fight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. Now, an evil load, when it comes into your life, number one, it can enter into your life and on the unusual begin to happen. The unusual begin to what? Happen. It can enter. It can be an evil load. The unusual begin to happen. The second thing is that it could also come into your life and get out. Just like an evil arrow fired into somebody's house and into the body of somebody's life and goes back to sender. It could also miss you if they actually projected an evil load to you. It could what? Miss you and go to somebody else. Let me say it again. Just like an evil arrow, it could also come unto you. As it comes to you, you could actually acquire it and it remains in your body. It remains in your life. It remains in your destiny. It begins to affect you. You want to go around. The load is there. You, are, you don't understand. It is actually, some of you are also unconscious. Carrying an evil load in an unconscious way. I decree to somebody's life. I speak into your life. You, that sister, I speak into your life. You know yourself by what I'm going to say right now. Since the day you slept 
in your friend's house. You have never had a good dream after that time. Man. You have always had weird, weird, weird dream. I speak into your life now. As the Holy Ghost has I begin to I say, identify you, I decree right there where you are. Let the power of God uh, decree a deliverance. Uh, let the deliverance power locate you now. Locate you now. Locate you. Locate you. Locate you. Let the deliverance power of Jehovah locate you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, let the hand of God fight your battles. Let the power of Jehovah move on your matter. In the name of Jesus. That evil load that you acquired uh, from that your friend's place i command you to catch fire 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 in the name of jesus christ any power that is saying no any power that says that you must continue to carry the load i decree right now let them appear and carry their load 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 in the name of jesus I pray for somebody's child again that the evil load that was placed upon your child's life uh, i speak in the name that is above all names uh, i decree in the name of jesus uh, let that your child receive deliverance uh, let your child receive deliverance uh, let your child receive deliverance uh, let your child receive deliverance uh, i say let you, that your daughter receive deliverance uh, let that your daughter receive deliverance uh, let that your daughter receive deliverance oh my poco robo i decree in the name of jesus uh, receive deliverance uh, receive deliverance uh, receive deliverance, uh, receive deliverance receive the power of God in the name of Jesus we pray amen thank you Jesus thank you King of Glory now let's go ahead for those of you that have just joined that have just come to me let's go ahead I wanted to go ahead and share this video let's go ahead and share the video for those that have joined me recently yes go ahead let's go ahead and share the video God bless you God bless you let us go ahead and share the video as we continue thank you Jesus thank you King of Glory yes 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 go ahead let's go ahead and share the video i want the hand of god to move in your life i want the mighty hand of jehovah to move in your matter because the lord god almighty is ready he is ready for to do miracles signs and wonders and to perfect your way because evil load demonic loads satanic loads shall be removed in the name of jesus yes go ahead go ahead for those of you that are on on the on the on on, on uh, periscope go ahead and share the video those of you that are on facebook live go ahead and share the video and those of you on instagram I, I still don't know how to share that video but the lord will teach us one of these days just go ahead go ahead and share the video god bless you god bless you god bless you as you're doing so wonderful 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 excellent yes thank you jesus thank you king of glory now listen to me when a child of god is kind of an evil load Listen, we have a lot of prayers to pray. This is going to be like a prayer message. I want you to understand clearly to me that our God is in the business of doing great things. God bless you. For those that are sharing the video, I can see that. God bless you. God bless you. Wonderful. Excellent. The hand of God will be upon you. Now, listen to me carefully. When a child of God is operating under an evil load, I said some of them to you last week uh, on Monday, and I'm going to repeat some of them again to you so that we have a great understanding. Uh, I've had too many people calling, and let me tell you the truth, many of them are operating under what I call an evil load. Those evil loads must go back to sender. The owners of the load must carry their load. And I pray that the hands of Jehovah will manifest in your matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, when a child of God is having what i call an evil load one of the things you will be seeing or you will have seen like i said again the person will always be pressed down either while he's sleeping or while he's dozing off he will be pressed down he will be pressed down on the bed he will hear voices that are not from the lord and that can i mean i i, I can tell you that that is not a thing that you should take joke with at all that's not a thing you should joke with at all. When you are being pressed down on your bed or pressed down on your chair or pressed down where you're dozing off and you are hearing also strange voices, listen to me carefully. It's not if it's not a voice that is from God, it's not also a voice that other people can hear. Listen carefully. It's a, it's a sign of an evil load, and that load must be destroyed. The Bible says, by the reason of the anointing, every yoke must be destroyed. Every yoke must be destroyed i pray that the lord shall destroy your yokes in the mighty name of jesus i said the lord shall what destroy every yoke in your life in the mighty name of jesus listen to the what the bible says the bible says something psalms 55 verse 22 let me read it for you it says cast thy burden upon the lord 
and it shall sustain thee. It shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. A lot of Christians who have a lot of burden, a lot of challenge, a lot of evil load upon them. The Bible is saying, cast it unto the Lord. Psalms 55 verse 22. Psalm 55 verse 22. Cast them to the Lord. For the Lord says, he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. As many righteous ones that are connected to me, as many that are calling upon the name of the Lord, I decree that Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, he shall almighty lift up your burden. He shall lift away your burden. He shall lift them off. He shall lift off your burden in the name of Jesus. I say the burden bearer, he shall carry all your burdens in the name of Jesus. I decree that every yoke that the enemy placed on you, every yoke that you inherited, every yoke that you walked into yourself, I command those yokes to be broken by fire to be broken by fire to be broken in the name of jesus i decree and i declare let your yokes be broken let your yokes be broken let your yokes be broken in the name of jesus christ thank you king of glory in jesus name we pray amen now listen to me again the first one i said is that when you are always being pressed down you have what i call your father you have been pressed down in your bed you are hearing voices that is not from the lord and you are the only one that can hear you ah there is a problem there is a what a problem there is a joke there is something that needs to be lifted out of you there's something that needs to be uprooted from you i pray for you one more time that any power that is chanting incantation against you you that sister listen to me any power that is saying that you will not amount to anything i command those powers to be destroyed by fire 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 in the name of jesus christ we pray amen praise the name of the lord the second thing i've said the first one the second thing is when there's sudden depression and a fear that you that is not needed needed a fear that is not what needed the person is depressed always depressed out of the 24 hours in a day the person is depressed 20 hours of that day listen there is a burden that needs to be lifted up there is a burden that needs to be removed there is a burden that needs to be uprooted there is an evil load that the enemy has planted and is bringing that depression and also that needless fear i pray that every depressed person connected to me i ask god let the hand of god remove them let the hand of god remove them let the hand of god remove it now in the name of jesus christ we pray amen the third one listen to me carefully when an evil wind is blowing on the person and it is either bringing the person into what i call paralysis sicknesses that are unknown sicknesses that are defined medical diagnosis listen to me oh that is an evil loot and it has to be prayed off it has to be prayed out it has to be prayed out of your life i pray for you that the hand of god will touch you in the name of jesus listen to this testimony a sister traveled from the united kingdom to africa on holidays when she got there an evil wind blew on her that was all she could remember after that wind it was like she became insane she became what insane thank god for people that were able to help her they said this is not ordinary this is not ordinary how can somebody have just come from europe and all of a sudden she is now what insane what they did was just to take her to the prayer ground as they got to the prayer ground nobody prayed for her after about two weeks of her having what i call the evil load has been demonstrating insanity in her life as a matter of necessity a lesser power must bow to a higher power so i speak into your life as that sister received her deliverance receive your deliverance in the name of jesus let the superpower of jehovah let the superpower of king of glory let it begin to destroy your yokes 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 in the name of jesus now this sister as she got to the prayer place all of a sudden she became well the evil load went back to the sender the evil lord had to bow the evil lord had to leave her and let her go 
listen and listen to me carefully. As many of you that are wondering what is pastor talking about we're not talking about a physical a physical load we're talking about a spiritual activity the bible says the weapons of our warfare are not canal but mighty true god to the pulling down of stronghold listen to me carefully the weapons you're going to use to fight the operation of an evil load is for you to pray decisive and pray targeted prayers and pray like a wounded lion i decree into your life again that every load of darkness upon your life, I command it to catch fire, 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 to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody that is listening to me, put your right hand again on your head and say this loud and clear. Say evil loads upon my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil loads upon my life. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil loads upon my life. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Evil loads upon me. Catch fire. Catch fire in Jesus' name. I set you ablaze. Catch fire. Evil loads on my life. I command you to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So I've talked about the third one. So the fourth one, listen to me very well. When you are in a place, all of a sudden you're feeling very cold from within. Even though where you are, the temperature is very hot. It is a sign that there's an evil load. Feeling very cold from within. Although you're in a very hot place, there's a sign that's an evil load that has been transferred into your life. That is number four. You want to open your mouth and pray very well. You will cry again to the Almighty God. Say, every evil hand laid upon my life, I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, I cut you off. 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 In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Number five. When you find out that your head is very heavy is feeling heavy your head your physical head is feeling very heavy oh there's an evil load that you need to shake off you need to shake them off you need to shake them off anybody listening to me right there you open your mouth and say this loud and clear say evil load upon my head i shake you off in the name of jesus evil load open your mouth and pray the prayer evil load upon my head i shake you off i shake you off open your mouth and pray it i shake you off i shake you off I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Evil load upon my head. I shake you off in the name of Jesus. I shake you off. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen to me. What do you do? Number six. You and you also have what I call unexplainable shivering. 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 Oh, there is an evil load that you need to look at. When you are finding strange objects, in your food oh don't bother just eating the food just pour it away and and don't bother just saying well let me remove you finding a cockroach in your food or finding a, a giant ant in your food or you're finding something like i mean you, and you and you still say well let me remove that part and eat it continue to eat it no 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 just remove it it's an evil load i pray for you that the power of god will fight your battles in jesus name a sister told me pastor they gave her a food they gave her the food and by the time she was going to eat the food, she covered the food and left it for some time. By the time she was going to eat the food, the whole place was filled with flies, dead flies in the food. So assuming she had eaten the food, so that those dead flies would be in her life. Is anybody listening to me at all? Assuming she had eaten the food, those dead flies would be flying about inside her. Those are evil loads. She didn't eat the food. She just covered it and kept it aside. Saying, when I return, I will eat the food. By the time she came back, it was like dead flies. An evil load had been transferred into the food. That's why I said some people, they went to a place and they ate a food. They ate a food. A food that they should not have eaten. And an evil load was placed into their life. Right there where you are. Your right hand upon your head. Your left on your belly button. Your right on your head, your left on your body, you will cry louder there. Say, owners of evil load in my life, carry your load 
in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load in my life, I command you to carry your load in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load in my life, I command you to carry your load, to carry your load, to carry your load, to carry your load, to carry your load in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now. If you also see that in your revelation, uh, a part of your hair was shaving off. In your revelation, they shaved it off. Or you woke up, you saw that some part of your hair had been removed physically. Physically. A sister opened her head and said, Pastor, see my head. I slept, and by the time I woke up, all the hair had been dropping. Everything, something had been shaved out of my head. There's an evil load that the enemy wants to carry. There's an evil load that the enemy wants to place on you. I decree into your life that the owners of evil load shall carry their load in the mighty name of Jesus who pray. Amen. Now listen to me carefully. When you hear your name being called and there is nobody calling you, there is nobody calling you, you heard your name being called, you heard your name being called and no one is calling you, looked around, who is in my house? Nobody is in my house and you heard your name being called. Listen, there is an evil load. There is what? An evil load. I want to pray for somebody. You have answered an evil call. They called you and you answered. Right there where you are, I withdraw your answer. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw your answer. Let the owner of evil load carry their load. I withdraw your answer. I withdraw your answer. All the answers that you have answered to a demonic call, to an evil call, I withdraw your answer. I withdraw your answer. I withdraw. I withdraw your answer. I speak again into your life. I say I withdraw your answer. In the name of Jesus, let the power of God begin to move. Let the power of Jehovah begin to remove that answer. In the name of Jesus, any power that called you, any wonder that called you, forces of darkness that have called you, the kingdom of darkness that called your name, they called you by your name and you answered her. I decree, I cancel their decree over your life. I withdraw your answer. And I ask, oh Lord, beginning from this moment, every effect of that evil call, every effect of that demonic call, I cancel it by the power in the blood of Jesus. I cancel. I cancel, I cancel, I cancel, I cancel it now by the power in the blood of Jesus. I decree right now, anyone that called you, any strange voice that called you, either in your dream or in the physical, and you answered, I decree, let the Holy Ghost fire locate them now and destroy them. Let the Holy Ghost fire locate them, destroy them. Holy Ghost fire locate them, destroy them. Holy Ghost fire locate them, destroy them. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, associate yourself, all you people, and you shall be broken to pieces. I decree wherever they have associated themselves because of you, they chanted their incantation, they cast all their lots, and they did their divination, and they called your name, and you answered her. I cancel that answer in the name of Jesus. I cancel that answer. I withdraw your answer, and I decree right there where you are, as you are saying amen, let the hand of God begin to fight your battles. Let the hand of God begin to deliver you. Begin to deliver you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for someone now that everywhere they took your picture to, whether your picture on Facebook or your picture on your Instagram page or your picture on your WhatsApp page, any of your picture they took to any evil altar, wherever that picture is right now, right now, I command that picture and that altar, let the altar catch fire. Let the picture turn to fire. Let the altar catch fire. Let your picture on that place turn to fire. Let the altar catch fire. I say, let the altar catch fire. Let the altar be set ablaze. In the name of Jesus Christ, right now, any power chanting incantation, chanting your name at midnight, chanting your name in order to call you, in order to summon you, I decree, let all evil summoning backfire, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, whether you were aware or not, and they called you, you answered, I'm speaking again, by the decree of heaven, I'm decreeing to your life, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking again, by the God of Elijah, the God that answers 
by fire i decree let god answer by fire let your answers be withdrawn receive your deliverance let god answer by fire let your answers be withdrawn receive your deliverance let god answer by fire let your answers be withdrawn receive your deliverance in the name of jesus christ any power that is using a coffin in order to attack you any power that is using a coffin in order to attack you I command let their coffin swallow them now I decree again let their evil coffin let it begin to swallow them I say let their coffin any coffin that has been programmed against you against your soul against your spirit man against your body I decree let their own coffin swallow them let their coffin bury them let their coffin swallow them let their coffin bury them let their coffin Swallow them. Let their coffin bury them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I decree that every flying witchcraft that is flying against you in the hour of the night or in the day, I command them to crash land in the name of Jesus. Let them crash land. Any power flying against you in order to destroy you, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them begin to crash land now. Let them begin to crash land now. Let them begin to crash land now. It is written that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I decree into your life, right there where you are, you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I say you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I decree that every trap set by the enemy against you and your children, let their trap begin to catch them. In the name of Jesus, I say let their trap catch them. Let the child catch them. Let the child catch them. Let the owners of evil load carry their load. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, for those of you that have just connected again, I wanted to go ahead and share this video. You have my permission. Go ahead and share the video. King of glory is here. The mighty power of God is here. Go ahead. Let's. I wanted to share the video right now. Yes, go ahead. Share this video. Let somebody be delivered. Let somebody be blessed. Yes, God bless you. I can see lots of you doing the share now. I wanted to share the video because listen to me. Our God is a master deliverer. He says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Listen, some evil load must go for you to possess your possession. It is time for you to possess your possession. It is time for you to possess your possession. It is time for you to move forward. It is time for you to go forward. It is time for God to give you speed. God has given you speed. The load of darkness has held you down. It is time for the gates that good gate that the enemy has shot, the good gate that the Lord has opened unto you and the enemy shot, it's time for those good gates to open and it is time for you to enter into your testimony. It is time for you to enter into your blessing. It is time for you to enter into breakthrough. It is time for you to enter into joy unlimited. It is time for you to enter into your divine healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mapokarabazekeribush. Lord, we thank you because there is none like you. Yes, God, thank you very much for sharing the video. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I can see lots of you sharing it. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me and listen to me very well. When you eat in the dream, it is an evil load. You are not supposed to eat in the dream. When you have sex in the dream, it is an evil load. You are having sex with him, even with somebody that is, is as a, the same gender as you. As a male, you have a sex in the dream with a male. Or as a female, you have sex in the dream with a female. It is an evil load. It's an evil load. It's an evil load. Take note of this very well. Number next one I have here is that if you are all you are being summoned all the time. You have been summoned all the time. Listen to me carefully. When you have been summoned. Ah, they summoned you. They said, look, 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 come to Florida, come to Florida, come to Florida. Something's happening. And, you, and when you go to Florida, they just said, well, we just want to see your face. We just want to see your face. Or come, come to Paris, come to Paris, come to Paris. We want to see you in Paris. Come, come, come urgently. And think your mom, your mom is sick. Your mom is sick. And when you got there, your mom was not sick. Nothing will happen. Or they called you to Africa. No, no, they said, come, 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 come to Africa, come to Africa. And by the time you go there, Everything is okay. They just wanted to see your face. Listen, that's an evil summoning and that is, there's an evil load that has been transferred. The fact that you have acted, you have moved, you have taken those actions, there's an evil load that has been transferred. You want to shake them off. Say, I shake off every load of darkness upon my life. 
in the name of Jesus, I shake you off. Every evil load, evil load of darkness over my life, be shaken out. I shake you off in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and shake them off. Every load of darkness upon my life, I shake you off. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Listen to me. If you have consulted on Habalis and you have been asked to bring strange things, you have been asked to do strange things. Number one, they told you to sleep in a coffin without a dead body inside it. Maybe they told you to go and, um, I don't know, sleep with a dead man. Maybe they told you to go and sleep in the mortuary. Oh, or to go and sleep at the cemetery. Listen to me. There is an evil load in place. Understand clearly. There is what? An evil load in place. And if you see goes there and I mean, whatever way, whatever they've told you to do, they've told you you've gone to a, a, a voodoo person and they've told you to do this kind of things, listen, there is an evil load in place. It is possible for a person to carry an evil load from the womb and he doesn't know. It's possible to carry an evil load when the person was an unbeliever, when you were an unbeliever and is still with you right now even as an adult. If, it's, if you don't chase it out, it will continue to affect you. If you don't destroy it, it will continue to be there. And I pray that the hand of God will touch your life in Jesus' name. Now, next is if you find yourself again being attacked in the dream and you are not able to do anything to defend yourself and you could not shout, you could not pray, there's an evil load somewhere that you need to pray out. There's an evil load somewhere that you need to what? Pray out. If you find yourself in the dream, you are picking bad eggs, rotten fruits, rotten guava, rotten mango, rotten orange oh it is an evil load and uh, let me tell you the truth it's an evil load of what i call incurable disease an evil load of what incurable what disease evil load of non-profitability evil load of loss of property those things you need to pray them off i want to tell you that our god is a god of signs and wonders if that evil load is in, the, in your life you must pray like a mad prophet you must pray them away because they need to know. They will not allow you to do anything. They will not allow you to get anything in life. In fact, you may get it, but the what it's happening is that it will give you a lot of burden. If you also see yourself in your revelation that all your properties are being carried away, either by a river or by the war by, by a fire or something, the enemy is planning a destruction for your life. And you got to what fight for it if you're seeing yourself also in the dream either you're walking with a barefoot or walking with the slippers or you're falling and you're getting up it means that the enemy is planning to do to go backward to go back to go back or to either backslide or to lead to the temptation listen these are all evil loads that the enemy can plant into the life of a child of god these are all what evil load that the enemy can do what plan into the child of God. A, a, the enemy can plant an evil load of disgrace. Evil load of what? Disgrace. Especially when you see yourself naked or your clothes have been blown away in your dream. The enemy is planning what I call an evil load. He's putting a load of disgrace upon you. When as a woman you see your headgear, your scarf being blown away either in your dream, the enemy is planning to either kill you or kill your husband. Listen to me. The enemy is trying to kill what? Kill that because that your edge here is your glory. And your glory cannot. You, I mean, your glory and your husband is also what? Is your glory. I pray that the Lord will touch you in Jesus' name. Now listen to me carefully. Everywhere you are seeing an attack from an animal in the dream, it is an attack and it is an evil load that the enemy is also planning. I pray that all the dogs, all the goats, all the cats, the owls, the bats, the crocodile, the serpent, the snake that you're saying attacking you or biting you, they shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. I say they shall catch fire in the name of Jesus. They shall catch fire and they shall be set ablaze. A sister told me, Pastor, in a dream, somebody released a dog and the dog pursued her, bite her. By the time she woke up, she felt the pain of the bite. I said, that's an evil load. It's an evil load that the enemy wants to plant, plant into your life. And do you know what happened? Within some three, four days, she began to feel 
a pain in that place. She was scratching it. Before you know what was happening, it was like, well, it had a saw. It had a saw on it. A place where she was being beaten by a dog in the dream. It was only by prayer and by releasing the anointing, using the anointing oil to rub the place and pray until the pain subsided. I want to pray for you, wherever you are. Every load of darkness that the enemy has put upon you, I command that load to catch fire. In the name of Jesus, let the evil load be set ablaze, be set ablaze, be set ablaze, be set ablaze, be set ablaze in the name of Jesus. Listen, my brother and my sister, an evil load, when it's in place, it will do lots of things. Havoc. It will do what? Lot of havoc. What do you need to do? You make the enemies carry their load. What do you need to do, my brother and my sister? Listen to me very well. Let the enemy carry their loads. And I pray that they shall carry their loads in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and share the video. Go ahead and share the video one more time. For those of you that are on uh, Instagram, those of you on Instagram, I'm coming to you back again. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. God bless you. God bless you for sharing the video. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. Yes. Now, listen. You must make the enemy carry their loads. You must make them carry their load. So what do you need to do? You must pray aggressive prayers. You must pray what? Aggressive prayers. And I pray that the hand of Jehovah will touch your life in the name of Jesus. It will touch you. It will move my, in your matter in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, some of you have questions. Listen, just send me the questions inside my Facebook page. If you have any questions, what I'll talk about. Send me those questions on my Facebook page so that I will reply you personally. I don't want to open and reply you openly. <laughs> I'll reply you personally. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, what do you do? You must command the enemy to carry the load. And I will be giving you some prayer points today. I've been wanting to give you some prayer points on Monday, but I pray that the Lord God Almighty will touch your life. So I'm going to send this prayer point to you immediately after this program. Immediately after this program. So every one of you that sends me a message, that sent me before, and those of you that will send me a message today, you will get it within one hour from this program. You'll get every, all the prayer points. The prayer point is that the evil load must die. Evil load must die. The owners of the load must carry their load. The enemy must carry their load. And let me tell you the truth. I want to tell you that I cannot continue to tell you what I have heard, what people have told me. I cannot continue to tell you what, what people have almighty begin to almighty talk, ask me of all. That is why the Bible says, cast your burden upon the Lord. He shall sustain thee and he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Psalms 55 verse 22. So listen to me very well. You can't continue to live in fear. You can't continue to live taking collecting it and losing it you can't continue to imagine to live oppressed no Moses, says my yoke is easy my burden is light jesus christ is one that said it and i pray that the lord god almighty will touch you in the name of jesus christ you will cry these seven prayer points loud and clear wherever you are you will say the prayer points with me say every demonic load of darkness upon my life be set ablaze in the name of Jesus. Every demonic load of darkness upon my life, I command you to be set ablaze. 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 Demonic load of darkness upon my life, I command you to be set ablaze. Be set ablaze. Be set ablaze. Be set ablaze. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You will not cry loud and clear. Say, every inherited load of darkness in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every inherited load of darkness in my life die in the name of Jesus. Every inherited load of darkness upon my life, I command you to die in the name of Jesus. I command you to die. Every inherited load of darkness upon my life, I command you to die. To die in the name of Jesus. Inherited load of darkness over my life, upon my life. Die in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You will take the third prayer point with fire in your voice. You will cry loud and clear. Say, every power distributing evil loads in my dreams. Carry your load in the name of Jesus. Every power distributing evil loads in my dream.
carry your loads in the name of Jesus. Carry your loads. You the powers distributing evil loads in my dream. I command you to carry your load in the name of Jesus. Carry your load by the authority in the name of Jesus. By the power in the name of Jesus. Carry your loads in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Now take the fourth prayer point loud and clear. Everybody open your mouth. Make sure that you are praying the prayer. Say, owners of evil load in my father's house. Owners of evil load in my mother's house. Appear. Carry your loads in the name of Jesus. Owners of evil load in my father's house. Owners of evil load in my mother's house. Appear. Carry your loads. Appear. Carry your loads. Appear. Carry your loads. Appear. Carry your loads. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. It is written that whatever my heavenly Father has not planted shall be rooted up. I want to pray for some of you that every plantation of darkness, every load of the enemy, everything that my heavenly Father has not planted in your life, I command it to be uprooted now. 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 In the name of Jesus, every plantation of the enemy. Every plantation of the wicked, every demonic evil load, every satanic load of darkness upon your life, upon any area of your life, I command it to be uprooted, to be uprooted, to be uprooted, to be uprooted by fire, to be uprooted in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, let the power of God begin to move on your matter right now in the name of Jesus. At this very minute, let the hand of Jehovah manifest, begin to walk in your matter, in your name of Jesus. Let the hand of God begin to uproot every plantation, every seed of darkness, every plantation of the enemy. Let the hand of God begin to uproot it out of your life. It's uprooted. It's been uprooted. Yes, I command let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted. Let it be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. And I begin to decree that anything that the enemy has done against you and is affecting you right now by the power in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Ma poka raba zende kiribush. Receive your deliverance right there where you are. Let the mighty hand of Jehovah let it begin to move. Let it begin to baptize you in the mighty name of Jesus. Every chain of the wicked around your life. Every chain of the wicked in your life. I command. Let it be broken now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken broken by fire be broken in the name of Jesus every sickness every disease every infirmity every affliction that has known no medical diagnosis everyone that the doctors don't understand what is happening I decree and I declare right there where you are receive your healing in the name of Jesus receive your healing receive your healing let the evil load of sicknesses in your life be broken 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 forever in the name of Jesus Christ we pray amen you will take prayer number five everybody let's open our mouth and pray this prayer loud and clear say owners of evil load in my life wherever you are appear carry your load in the name of jesus owners of evil load in my life wherever you are appear carry your load owners of evil load in my life wherever you are appear carry your load appear carry your load appear carry your load owners of evil load in my life wherever you are appear carry your load appear carry your load appear carry your load appear and carry your load owners of evil load in my life wherever you are appear carry your load appear carry your load appear carry your load appear carry your load appear and carry your load in jesus name we pray amen you would take this is to loud and clear say jesus christ the yoke breaker break my yokes in the name of jesus jesus christ 
thy yoke breaker break my yokes break my yokes jesus christ 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 the yoke breaker break my yokes break my yokes jesus christ the yoke breaker break my yokes in jesus name we pray amen now you will take the seventh prayer loud and clear you will shout it with fire. You will shout it with thunder. You will shout it with that enough is enough. Say, evil load in my life. Evil loads in my life. Enough is enough. Die in the name of Jesus. Evil loads in my life. Enough is enough. Die now. Die now. Die now. Die. Command them to die. Evil loads in my life, in every area of my life, in my body, in my spirit, in my soul. Evil loads upon my career, upon my calling, upon my marriage. Evil loads in the life of my children, in my family. Evil loads die now. Die now. Open your mouth and pray the prayer. Evil loads in any area of my life. Die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Evil loads in any area area of my life i command you to die to die to die to die to die in the name of jesus christ we pray amen thank you jesus and so father i speak into the life of your children as they have spoken today lord i ask that you will begin a great thing in their lives in jesus name father as they have spoken today i ask oh lord that every load of darkness every owner of evil load Every demonic load, every satanic load, every occultic load, every witchcraft load, whatever name they are called, I command them to scatter in the name of Jesus. Let those loads scatter by fire. Let those loads scatter by fire. Let those loads scatter by fire. Let those loads scatter in the name of Jesus. And I speak that within the next 72 hours, let the owners of evil load in the life of this your son, in the life of this your daughter, let those owners carry their load. Let them appear. Owners of evil load in your life, I decree, let them appear and carry their loads. Appear and carry their loads. Appear and carry their loads. Let the owners of the load of darkness that is upon your head, the strange load you are carrying on your head, I command them to appear and carry their load, to appear and carry their load, to appear, carry their load, to appear and carry their load. I command them to appear and carry their load in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as your spirit lives, I ask, O oh Lord, let your mighty hand, you are the God that answers by fire. I decree within the next 72 hours, in the life of this your daughter, in the life of this your son, let the owners of evil load begin to carry their load one by one, beginning from now. For the next 72 hours, let them begin to carry their load. Let them begin to carry their load. I decree and I declare it is written that thou shalt decree it in it and it shall be established unto thee. Father, I am decreeing right now in the life of this, your children, the children of God that are listening to me, I decree and I declare, let the owners of the load of darkness in their marriage appear and carry a load. The owner of evil load that is in your body, in your blood, I decree, let them appear and carry their load. Be set free, be set free from the load of darkness. Be set free. Be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free. I say be set free from the evil load of darkness. Be set free from every mysterious sickness. Every sickness that the enemy has programmed to kill you, to, st to steal from you and to destroy you. I say be set free, be set free, be set free, be set free. Jesus Christ has come that you might have light. I decree right now, let there be light in the name of Jesus. Let there be light of Jesus. Let the light of Jesus Christ begin to enter into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the yoke breaker, I set them free. Set them free. Jesus, I call on your name. The name Almighty that is above all names. Daddy, break every yoke. Set your children free. Set 
them free, set them free from the bondages, oh, from ancestral bondages, from witchcraft bondages, from occultic bondages, from unconscious bondages, from conscious bondages, every bondage that's upon the life of your children, every bondage that's keeping them low, every bondage keeping them in the same position, every yoke, every evil load of darkness, Daddy King of Glory, I say set them free. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Set them free, Jehovah. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ, every mark of Satan on your forehead, every mark of the devil upon your head, I decree right now, let the blood of Jesus wipe them off blood of Jesus begin to wipe them off blood of Jesus begin to wipe them off begin to wipe them off wipe them off wipe them off in the name of you every witchcraft sponsored infirmity every witchcraft sponsored infirmity I command let that infirmity dry up in the name of Jesus let it dry up let it dry up every witchcraft gathering against you in order to bring you down every satanic garden against you in order to bring you down every negative of effect uh, upon your life, uh, it is really associate yourself, all oh, you people, and you shall be broken to pieces. Uh, and I decree, uh, let them be broken to pieces. Uh, let them speak the word, it shall not stand uh, because God is with you, Jesus is with you, King of glory is with you. So, wherever they call your name for evil, wherever they call the name of your children for evil, wherever they call your name for evil, wherever they call the name of your children for evil, Holy Ghost fire, answer them, Holy Ghost fire, answer them, Holy Ghost fire, answer them. Holy Ghost fire, answer them. Holy Ghost fire, answer them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because God Almighty is your Father. Because Jesus Christ is for you. Who can be against you? Wherever they are gathered against you. Wherever they want to re-invoke their incantation against you. Wherever they want to come against you. Oh, the Bible says when they will come against you in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. As many of them that gathered against you, they shall fall for your sake. And so therefore I decree and I declare everywhere they are gathered against your life, your destiny, your progress, I command them to fall for your sake, to scatter, to fall, to scatter, to fall, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter, to scatter. To scatter. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for you again that the hand of Jehovah, let it begin to work in your life. Let the hand of God begin to perform miracles, signs, and wonders in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, the burden bearer, Jesus Christ, is lifting away your burden, is lifting away your body is lifting away your body is lifting away your body in the name of Jesus and I speak into the life of someone that whatsoever whatsoever which whatever it is uh, that has to die for your life to begin to be a turnaround miracle for your life to begin to experience testimony I command that power to die whatsoever must die I command it to die whosoever has to die I command them to die in the name of Jesus any power that has to die every congregation of darkness that are gathered against you I command them to scatter and die to scatter and die to scatter and die to scatter and die in the name of Jesus Christ King of glory, I soak all your children who are connected to me with the blood of Jesus. As men that are listening to me, wherever you are in the whole wide world, I decree and I declare, let the mighty hand of God begin to manifest in your affairs. Let the power of Jehovah begin to move. As you are saying amen to these prayers, I decree in the name of Jesus that you are being set free. I say you are being set free. You are being set free. You are being set free. But says, whosoever the son of God set free is free in did. And I come to you in the name of Jesus. I come to you in the name that is above all names. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I say be set free. 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 Receive your freedom from the evil load of darkness. Receive your freedom, freedom from the load of the witchcraft. Receive your freedom from ancestral evil load. Receive your freedom from the evil load of your father's house and your mother's house. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that day I begin to decree. Let the anointing for supernatural, the anointing for promotion, the anointing to do exploit, the anointing for enlargement, the anointing for expansion, 
let it begin to baptize you. Let it begin to baptize you. As the Lord has lift away your yokes, I say, let the anointing for speed, anointing for speed, anointing to ask for acceleration, anointing to move forward, anointing for signs, anointing for wonders, anointing for miracles, anointing for testimony. Let it fall upon your life. Let it fall upon you now. Let it fall upon you where you have been set back, where the evil load has set you back. Today, begin to move forward by fire. Be today, begin to accelerate. Today, begin to move forward. In the name of Jesus, let the, op let the heavens be open unto you. In the name of Jesus, let the heavens be open unto you. Let the heavens over your head be open. Be open. Be open. Reopen. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord, I thank you for the life of your children. And I know that you have started a great thing in their life. You'll be faithful to complete it. But that day I ask, Lord, that you complete that which you have started. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord, we thank you. I soak you in the blood of yours, your family in the blood of yours, your properties in the blood of yours, your journey out, your journey in, I cover you with the blood. And I decree that the hands of the Lord will be with you all in Jesus' name. And so, Daddy, I join everyone that is connected to me, as many that are connected to me from United Kingdom. We pray for Great Britain, the Lord God Almighty, there shall be no more bloodshed in Great Britain in the name of Jesus. We ask, Lord Almighty, that every power or arousing and terrorizing Great Britain, we command those powers to be arrested in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we program blessing. We program mighty increase. We program mighty joy in the mighty name of Jesus into the life of everyone. I now join those that are in Great Britain that the Lord will continue to keep the entire Great Britain. The Lord will keep you going out and coming in. And I speak almighty that the Lord Almighty, the God that keep it D, it does not slumber, it does not sleep. And I speak uh, that all the blood sucking demon uh, will not come your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I decree that the Lord God Almighty will touch you, it will be with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord Almighty, for your children all around the world, wherever you might be. Glory be unto your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So God bless you all. For those of you that have just joined, I want to say thank you, Jesus, for your life. And I want to know that the Lord will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. Make sure that you go ahead and share the video right now. For those of you that want those prayer points, I'm going to be sending those prayer points to you in the next one hour from now. Please just send it to me via Facebook and I will reply you today. I will reply you today. If you did not get it today, then it means that you didn't send me anything. You are going to get it in the next one hour so god bless you have a lovely and a wonderful time and i say the hand of god will continue to protect you wherever you are in jesus name so stay blessed and be of good courage and be of good cheer also god bless you yes for those of you on the prayer line i'm going to cut the line now have a lovely time if you want to give me uh, if you want to send me anything send it to me on facebook and i will reply you and if you have my number send it to me on whatsapp i'll reply you from there also god bless you those of you on instagram facebook live and uh periscope go ahead and share the video right now let's go ahead and share the video one more time go ahead those, are, those of you that have just joined yes you have my permission to share the video yes 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 you have my permission let's go ahead invite your followers just invite them right now they can watch they can watch it again and the lord will touch you and if you missed the first part you can go back and watch the one uh we had on monday god bless you all and stay blessed those of you on prayer line have a lovely time prayer line guys the lord will be with you Yes, yeah, see you guys later. Those of you on uh, Periscope, God bless you. Those of you on uh, Facebook Live, God bless you. And also you, those of you on uh, Instagram, God bless you all. Yes, let's go ahead and share the video. Go ahead, go ahead and share the video. Those of you on uh, Facebook Live, let me see you share the video again. And those of you on uh, Periscope, go ahead, share the video. God bless you. Yes, Jones, Oloa Shemon, Louis how are you? Angela, praises, God bless you too. Judith Ekeze, God bless you. Abiodun Lufemi, how are you? Ekanem Okon, how are you doing, Ekanem Okon? 
Yetunde, how are you? Yetunde Lawa, God bless you. Chilo, how are you doing? Yes, if you need a prayer point, just send it to me. Just send me a message straight away on Facebook and I'm going to reply you right now. God bless you. God bless you, Chilo. How are you doing? Yes. So, Justina, how are you? Ed, Eva, Ola, how are you doing? Uh, God bless you all. So, stay blessed and the hand of God will be with you all in Jesus' name. I'm Inata Hesba. How are you doing? Yes. So, see you guys later and I'm going to... Uh, Gloria Hannon, how are you? Lion Paul Lily, God bless you. I soak you also in the blood of Jesus. Hello, Shane, how are you doing? Christina Falk, how are you doing? Ah, yes, God bless you all. God bless you. Yes, it's nice. I'll be able to do all of him. How are you doing? Yes, I'll say, I'll say my regards to her. Yes, God bless you all. God bless you. So see you guys later and have a lovely time. So send me the message on Facebook and I will reply you immediately. And they told me, just how are you doing? God bless you. Angela, praise. Yeah, send me, please just send me a message on Facebook. A message. Okay. Titi Lope, send me a message on Facebook. Go to message and send it to me. Pastor Dr. Salako, send it to me there. Dorothy Hanang, how are you doing? Just send me a message and I'll reply you. I'm just going to reply your message. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you too. Yes. Arirome Hashiru, how are you doing? Good night, you guys. Have a lovely time. Ricky Dangelo, good night. God bless you. See you guys later and have a lovely time. So guys on um, Instagram, see you again. Every Monday, every Thursday, the prayer line goes. The prayer line comes up. So have a wonderful time. Yes, dear Ati, dear, how are you doing? Osal Sato, God bless you. Ty Currency Jones, good night to you too. Alright, yes, I'm going to send it. Christian F. Hawk, I will be sending it today. Okay, I will be sending it definitely today. You get it now. Just send me, just send me a request on this in the game, and I will reply you straight away. God bless you. God bless you. So, guys on Periscope, have a lovely time. See you later. And those of you on uh, Facebook Live, see you again. Wonderful. Thank you very much. I will definitely send it to you. Please just send me a message i apologize for those of you that didn't get anything from me but you will definitely get it now i'm going to make sure that i clear all my inbox god bless you bye